The next concept is the line spectra of the hydrogen atom. So whenever this hydrogen atom consists number of electrons or consists only single electron and this single electron go to the multiple transitions from its ground state to the different energy levels according to the third postulate of the Bohr. So the third postulate energy difference is equal to H nu. So we can write this one as EF minus EI is equal to H nu. The energy of the nth orbit we can say that m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h square n square. So now this energy difference is also equal to the order of this much. So we can write that E f minus E i is equal to m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square into h square into this is also inversely proportional to n square that is why we can write this one as 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square. This whole is equal to h nu therefore h nu is equal to m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square into h square into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square nu is equal to I am bringing this h to this side so it will be m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h cube into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square we can say that nu is equal to c by lambda is equal to m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h cube into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square. This formula is similar to 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square. So after seeing the comparison, so this equation we can write like this 1 by lambda is equal to m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square into h cube c into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square. So this equation is comparable to 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square. So by comparing these two equations we can write r is equal to Redberg constant is equal to m into e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h cube c where m is mass of the electron, e is equal to charge of electron, epsilon naught is 8.85 10 to the power of minus 12, h is equal to Planck's constant, c is equal to speed of light. By substituting all the values, we will get 1.03 into 10 to the power of 7 meter inverse. But practical values were r is equal to 1.097 into 10 to the power of 7 meter inverse. They both are close to each other, almost close to each other. So such like this, Bohr's model of hydrogen atomic model has proved the existence of Redberg constant which is very close way. So this is all about the line spectra. What is this line spectra? Line spectra and band spectra, these are two spectrums. 
absorption spectrum is due to the energy was absorbed by the electron and these electrons were excited from ground state to the higher energy levels it may be next high first excited or second excited state or infinite also in this case electrons will completely absorb the energy that means it is a possibility to absorb the total energy so if these transitions are arranged like a band form we will get the dark bands darkness is due to the complete absorption of energy next if the electrons are de excites from the higher energy level to the ground level that means e2 to e1 or e3 to e1 e4 to e1 or infinite to e1 they releases the energy so such multiple transitions are arranged in an order it gives a continuous line spectrum bright bands it is all due to the emission of energy so the line spectrum means when an electron excites or de excites from one of its energy level to the next energy level whether it is excitation or de excitation it seems to be a line pattern from with respect to its energy levels like this so what are these line patterns we have seen already in terms of the lyman balmer passchen bracket and fun series so whenever the some gases which were passed through the rare field elements they also shows the same characteristic features to give the energy bands such like bright bands and dark bands that's why in the spectrum order we will see the dark bands are grouped together it is very difficult so it observe it is observed like a dark fringe next uh, bright the darkness at that spot total energy was absorbed the bright total energy is released such like that we can assume the line spectra of the hydrogen atom now we will discuss one numerical based on this concept